I've been doing some work on black holes recently, which I hadn't started last time I saw you, actually. So I got interested in it. Is that a black hole? So you, you, we picture this thing from which nothing can escape, even light. So when you go in, you're gone, basically. What he calculated is that even though these things are just a distortion in space and time, that's, that's the description of them. So it's almost as if there's nothing there apart from a distortion in space and time. He calculated that they glow so they have a temperature, so they, they emit radiation, it's called Hawking radiation. And that's so important was that discovery. If you go to Westminster Abbey in London, look on the floor of the Abbey, on his memorial stone, and he's in there next to Newton and Shakespeare and all these people, and he's there. And chiselled in stone on the floor of Westminster Abbey is his equation for the temperature of a black hole. So it was this tremendously important discovery. So he, disco he discovers these things glow, and he calculates how they glow. A very low temperature, but they emit things, which means that they shrink, because they're, they're emitting stuff, mm -hmm. and so they're shrinking. So that means they have a lifetime. So first of all, one day they'll be gone. So that means that you have to address this question of what happened to all the stuff that fell in. And his calculation said that there's no record at all of anything that fell in, in all this radiation that's come off the black hole. So it's, it's purely information-less radiation. So what that means is that black holes destroy information, according to that calculation. And that's a big deal, because nowhere else in all of physics does anything erase information from the universe.